evening, good evening. I'm coming straight from school. I taught school earlier today. Um, and so it's so great to be here. And I want to tell you about my writing and also I want to tell you about my teaching experience. I teach in a public school in Brooklyn and it's most wonderful. I feel like I've learned how to look at people, how to examine them for what they do that's, that's decent, and then sometimes shortcomings. And the thing about being a public school teacher, teacher in general, you think there's the classic um, teacher's pet, teacher's pet. And you have this student who is super officious, um, super responsible, and you think that's the the student that teacher likes, but no, you know, and sometimes it's that, that, that student that really irritates you, that really makes you work, that you have like the soft spot in, in your heart for. Um, and so I want to uh, tell you about a particular year in my school. Um, school's great, great admin, great students, full of uh, verb and, and brilliance, um, just a great place to work. But there was one year, one year, where it was very strange. There were a string of thefts, um, mail package thefts. So teachers would get things sent to their classroom, to the building, and between the security desk and their actual classroom, things would just disappear. Um, and it was, it was very strange. And I thought, that's really weird, but uh, it's not my packages. <laughs> and so, um, you know, I would have things sent to, to the school every now and then. And I kind of noticed it one time because there was this teacher who was having um, a baby shower. And I ordered a, a boba wrap. And I had it sent to the school so that I could give it to her during the baby shower, which was taking place in the school. And I noticed that the package was already opened. And I thought nothing of it. I just thought, oh, somebody got the wrong package and they accidentally opened it up. Or somebody wanted it and they saw like, oh, I don't want this. And so I thought, OK. But then uh, there was another type of package that I liked getting sent to myself at school. And that was books. And I would get books sent to my classroom as a pick-me-upper. You know, I'd shop on Amazon, and after a tough day at work, I could uh, lay back and just know that there's a book coming to add to my classroom library. And there was this one particular book, um, How to Escape from a Leper Colony <laughs> Collection, Tiffany Yannick. Shout out to you, Tiffany Yannick. Um, I ordered it, but I never received it because it was stolen. Stole. And that's when I said, now you're playing with fire. <laughs> and so I would not let it go. I was in it. They drug me in it. And so my solution was, I am fully committed to catching this thief. This coincides with uh, my exploration of Amazon and all the things, the beautiful things that you can get there. Among them is thief detection powder. <laughs> I always thought it was a myth. I didn't, I didn't think it existed. But thief detection powder exists, right? And so you order, I ordered it on Amazon. Um, it's just purple powder. And you sprinkle it on whatever item you want to sprinkle it on. Um, and if you touch that item, your hands turn purple. <laughs> and you might be like, oh, no, it's no, I don't believe that. You could just wipe your hands or whatever. You can wash your hands. But no, it works according to the moisture in your hands. So if you try to wash your hands, it only spreads. And so I ordered this thief detection powder. And I went to my second period class. 
and I said, this is what happens when you mess with Fofana's books. <laughs> and so in front of them, I had a booby trap book that happened to be Alice Walker's The Color Purple. <laughs> Sprinkled with dye, sprinkled with powder. So I sprinkle it, fake package. I open it just enough, you know, so that I'm opening it, but it, it's, you know, it looks close. And this was my very trustworthy second period class. And I said, you guys have to be my eyes because I'm going to plant this in the office, in the mail room, and we are going to catch a thief. And all my very bright students looked upon me attentively while I was preparing this package. And even one of my um, students, um, Janice, she said, um, uh, you know, I, w I went to her because, you know, every now and then she does like a shift in the, in the mail room. She's a super responsible girl. So I was like, you know what, just be my eyes on this. We're going to catch some more. I was determined. Um, and even during lunch, um, I, took, I took Janice after, after class. I was like, I'm going to put this in the mail room. Just let me know. Um, you don't have to snitch on anybody. Just let me know if you see anything. And she was like, yes, Mr. Fofana, I'll let you know. Two weeks go by. Nothing happens. And I'm getting ready to give up. But then into my classroom comes Janice, she saw something. She said, Mr. Fofana, someone stole your package. I'm sure of it, I'm sure of it. And she came with my package and it was like torn open. And I was like, yes, um, we're gonna catch, we're gonna catch someone. And I said, uh, did you see who it was? And she said, I almost did, I almost did. Um, but I know for a fact that they, they stole it. Um, and I wanted just to just rush to tell you. Um, and she was like, Mr. Fafana, it, it, it works? Because, you know, I even got a little bit um, on my hands. Um, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, I know, I know. I mean, that whole week was like purple powder on the desk everywhere. I just, you know, anyway. Um, and so once I got that news, I was just re-energized. And I said, you know what? Um, I'm back. I'm back on the case. I went to the cafeteria. It's like, everybody, show me your hands. Show me your hands, everybody. You know, discreetly, like, high five, everyone, high five. So, yeah. Um, and so I didn't see, didn't see anybody with purple hands. Not one soul. Not one soul. Um, and then a couple of days after that, Miss um, Tammany, who works in the, in the main office, um, she comes to my classroom, corners me very secretively. She goes, Mr. Fofana, do you happen to have any of that um, thief detection powder? And I'm like, who told you I had thief detection powder? And I was very defensive. I said, what if I did? <laughs> and she, she said, um, we're trying to catch a thief. And I said, me too, me too. And she was like, well, we actually know who the thief is. And I was like, all right, let's collaborate. Who is it? Let's talk about it, let's talk about it. And she said, it's Janice. And I said, Janice, Janice. Janice? Really, Janice? No, no, no. It's Janice. No, it can't be, it can't be. She's my most esteemed student. No, no, no. It's Janice. We've been surveilling her for the last week. We just need the thief detection powder to confirm it. And I said, oh, okay, all right. There it is. So they had been watching her for like a week or two. Apparently, when she was going in the mail room, she was um, taking packages and even, even money. And so with the thief detection powder, um, sprinkled some on the bills. And this would be the final confirmation 
lo and behold, Janice came to the office during her shift, um, and she took the bills. Um, and I can't resist saying this, but she was she was caught purple-handed. <laughs> um, and so, um, at first she tried to deny it. She's like, no, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. But not only was the dye on her hands, but some of the dye was right here because she had stuffed, tried to stuff the bill into her bra. And so, it was undeniable. And the, the cops came, but you know, there were no press charges. She got, um, you know, pretty lengthy suspension. But you know the weird thing about it? She served her, uh, her suspension. She came back to class, and it was like it never happened. <laughs> it was like it wasn't a scandal. It was like she, you know, had learned her lesson, and she went back to being the studious great student. And I know you're probably thinking like, Oh, it sounds like a sociopath. <laughs> but no, she like was really embarrassed in the moment. Um, she was a, a student who was just goaded by temptation. She learned her lesson, and she came back to class. And um, I remember the day she came back from her suspension, I went up to her, and I said, uh, Janice, I just, just have to know one thing. Did you steal my how to escape from a leper colony collection? Did you? Did you? And she said, no, in a way that suggested probably, but I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> um, and that was that. She went on to get great grades, graduate comfortably, and still remains one of the fondest students in my heart. And you know, if she were in my classroom today, or near my shelves at home, <laughs> dare I say, I trust her around my books. The end. <laughs> yeah.